I just wanted to share some of my findings and uh, different things I've discovered with my cell design. I come up with a really close plate spacing. I'm not getting any anything touching anything. Uh, I'm running a pretty hot cell, so I designed my tube here. I put a three inch and a four inch, and then I put a cooler. This this runs to a pump. When I have a little pump, or, or one one time I actually just hooked the garden hose up to it and just let it flow through the bottom and out here, and it, it kept it fairly cold. It worked pretty good. And I made a nice big pop-off cap, which never has gone off yet, so <laughs> can tell you how well it works, but it's pretty large. And wait for this, see if I can get it to cool down a little bit. The reason I was showing you the bike is because it has a real easy way to change the top dead center. Um, just a couple adjustments on these two screws for front cylinder and the rear cylinder of this SNS motor. Uh, really simple. I ran it on on this for a little bit, and wow, you can really tell the emissions dropped and um, seemed pretty good. I'm kind of excited. To, uh, I don't know how much it actually put into this system because you know it's a lot smaller engine. Uh, any thoughts on that? But, uh, it seemed to work pretty good. You could tell the difference. Here's an older car I'm working on. It's just got an old 350 engine in it. Um, simple to change the timing and no uh, no electronics. It's a 73 Corvette. I, I guess slash Batmobile. I think it'd be make a pretty neat car to to put a hydrogen unit on it. Um, just about ready to paint it. And we're going to plumb it up with the. And here's something else I've been playing around with. This is the uh, Pulse Arc. Uh, it's a welder. I can control background, arc force. I've got my, you know, DC amperage, my volts, um, output control, which I pretty much keep that on zero. Because uh, this thing, you know, it'll put out a lot of amps if you let it, you know, too, way too much. But I can keep it down pretty low to play around with the with the voltage trim and the background. And I've got up with just that little cell without a whole lot of experimenting on it. I've had over three liters per minute with this. And I'm stainless. I have a pretty much a full fab shop here. I can slit and um, shear. Here's my slitter. Shit works really good. And then and my monster brake, metal brake here, which is handy. Here's another kind of neat thing I've been kind of experimenting with, making making a really thin, real thin enclosed space cell, uh, very light. Uh, like you can see, I got <coughs> three neutrals. Now with this configuration, I, I can't remember what it is. I think it's just positive neutral, positive neutral, or no, one neutral plate, positive. Neutral. Here's some of the stainless steel I've been using. Uh, this is 316L, and you know it's a, a quite a quite a bit of it. There's several hundred pounds there, maybe probably about 500 pounds. Um, like you can see, I have a quite a bit of it. <laughs> and then tubing I have. These are for different jobs I've done. Um, that's some pretty small tubing here. I think that's inch and a half. Uh, I know this is 316L, it says on it. And I think this is too, but I'm not real positive on it. So I don't have the writing. 